Well done. Now we have a chance. All right, Militia. Ready your weapons and move out. It's time we stand our ground. is coming. Prepare for battle! Blood, they're entering the Starling House. But if we don't hold the next wave off, the whole village could be overrun. Let's go. If we hurry, we can stop them before they find the children. I knew I could count on you. I hope my brother and sister know enough to hide. We could use your sword, but I understand.
That's over. We would not have held them much longer. Dagon! Much blood has been lost tonight. Let us make the enemy pay in kind. My steel. <laughs> Bring it to me! Let's go! Your death shall suffice! That is the last of them. For now, gather the wounded and the dying. Let's see how many we can steal from death's clutches. Thank the gods we were able to hold them at the farm. How many did we lose? Ian! Vera! Pearson! What were those things, anyhow? Never seen anything quite like them. They're called bladelings. Their kind is rarely seen in our realm. They dwell in a place beyond. Well then, what in the nine hells are they doing here? Lathander doesn't illuminate all mysteries for me. We must rely on our own wit and resources. One of those dwarves mentioned they were searching for something. Does anybody know what it was? Boy, come over here. I see you're unharmed. Many have not been so fortunate, and others have seen their final night. I understand you lost a friend of yours in the attack. A tragedy. She was a promising young mage. Or so I've been told. I understand perfectly, but I also understand what can and cannot be changed. Do not burden your resolve by dwelling on loss. Direct your thoughts to the present. I do not have much time to talk. There are many who are wounded. Now, there is something you must do tonight. Those bladelings were here to find something, and I fear I know what. 
There is an item, a silver shard. Long ago, I concealed it in the old stones outside of town. I fear it may have drawn these creatures down upon us. It is from the time when your mother died. Those were dark times for the village. We can speak more of the shard after you've returned. For now, all that matters is its retrieval. There is no time for that now. Your mother is dead. Let her spirit rest. Think it through. Their kind doesn't plunder a village like West Harbor. Not for a few coins and an old helm or two. They had a reason. There are too many wounded to care for. More than Brother Marin can handle on his own. I cannot go, so you must travel there in my place. There is no choice in this matter. The stones outside of town are older and deeper than you may think. In the farthest chamber of these ruins, look for a strong box. Inside is the shard. There remains only one thing. You should not go alone. Bevel, I need you to accompany my son to the ruins. This is an important task. But Georg says the ruins have been overrun by lizardling tribes. And that is why you must go. Together, two can succeed where one might fail. The cries of the wounded cannot be ignored any longer. Find the shard, find it, and bring it here. No offense, Mint, but your father makes the hairs on my neck stand up. Still, if we're going to do this, we should make some haste. It sounds urgent. The path that runs along the river is our best route into the swamp. We can take it to the ruins when you're done here. You all right? You look all right. A lot of families aren't as lucky. You probably are here for some sort of reason, I imagine. I am not some street peddler of minor magics. However, I could always use more coin. Very well. You probably are here for some sort of reason, I imagine. Very well, but be quick about it. It's been an age since I've come this far into the swamp. There are some twists and turns before we get to the ruins. There's probably more than lizardlings ahead. So, uh, lead on, I guess.
Yes, indeed. Stay close and step where I step. My steel will strike true! away from this. Yeah! 
We won't both walk away from this. To we me. won't <laughs> uh, bust them up. Let's see. Both walk away from this.
Oh, great spirits of the stone tomb, please hear our plea. The other lizardling tribes take our territory. They wage war. And before we fight them for our ancestral hatching grounds, we ask for your blessings. There certainly are an awful lot of them. Uh, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. A warm blood. Here. Your very presence offends the stone god. And this gives you the right to intrude on our lands and disturb our most holy of rituals. What do you propose then, warm blood? We are not your neighbors by choice. Warm bloods have broken many deals with the people of the scale before. Your words are wasted and futile. Kill the intruders. Sacrifice them to the Stone God! My steel. Bring it to me! We were risking life and limb for that? None of this makes any sense. Dagon can do his own blasted quest from now on. When you're done searching around, let's get out of here. You have returned, and you have brought the shard. That's all you can say? I almost died out there! If I did not believe you could handle the task, I would have sent another. Yeah, well, you weren't out there in the swamp getting attacked by lizard folk. No, I was here attending the wounded, Bevel. Now find Marion and do the same. I don't see how you put up with him. Now, for the shard. Let me see it. Many such ruins lie within the mare and beneath it. They are of ancient Ilfarn, an empire once forged from an alliance of dwarfs and elves. All that remains are ruins, and little else. And their empire lives on only in history books and stories. That shard is one of a pair. Both were found after the battle that destroyed West Harbor long ago. My half-brother Duncan and I asked a mage in Neverwinter to examine the shards for enchantments. But he found nothing except a faint magical aura, residue of the battle. And so I kept one shard, and the other I gave to Duncan. Not long after I returned to West Harbor, I sealed it away in the ruins. So to speak, it would be more appropriate to say that I have a half-brother. Duncan, like Bevel, has many faults that would make it wise not to rely on him or call him kin. It was long ago, and it was a battle that did not concern West Harbor, but the village was cut up in it like many such villages in the Mayor of Dead Men. We knew little about what had sparked the conflict. Demons were involved, led by a warlock of great power. We only knew him as the King of Shadows. The forces of Neverwinter attempted to drive the demons back. Many villagers fled, some taking the road, others wading into the swamp, anything to escape the battle. There was an explosion pure and white, 
Then, nothing more. Strange. Perhaps the attack awakened it. If so, then perhaps a second look at these shards would yield different results. But such divinations would be beyond anyone here in West Harbor, including Tarmus. That is the only reason I can think of for why they came. Am I certain? No. But my instincts tell me they were looking for it. I could not bring myself to cast it away. Yet at the same time, I did not wish to keep it close. You are too young to remember what occurred, I know. But the battle was a terrible one. And that shard, it reminds me too much of that night. I need you to go to the city of Neverwinter. Find my half-brother Duncan, retrieve the second shard, and take it to a mage you both can trust. Duncan owns an inn in the docks district of the city, the Sunken Flagon. Not the most reputable place, but safe enough. No, I know you value him as a friend, but it will be of no help outside of West Harbor. He would only slow you down. Bevel is made for simpler things. That is possible, but this village cannot shelter you or survive another attack. On the road, moving, you have a chance. Once you reach Neverwinter, it may prove more difficult for them to attack you. The problem is more complicated than that. If we give them the shard, I doubt it will prevent them from believing the second one lies here as well, or others. We only found two. It is possible there were others, scattered into the swamp or taken away, or have met other ends. There are many things I have chosen not to tell you, and that is because they are not relevant. Perhaps if you were to question less and heed my words, it would prevent you from becoming confused. Head to the small port town of Highcliff when you are free of the swamp. There, seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. The beast that attacked us will leave West Harbor alone once they realize their quarry has fled. If all goes well, you should be a Neverwinter before they find your trail. Say your farewells. Your boots may travel many roads before you return. I let some of the others know you are leaving, but not the why of it. We are all in danger. I will try my very best to keep the hunters busy. If Timora wills it, your journey will be quick and safe. But Lady Luck is fickle indeed in the mare. Steal yourself for danger. I was raised amongst the wild elves. For all my years amongst the race of man, they make little sense to me. You are one of them, and you understand them. I have done all I can to hide your presence. If these beasts come again, West Harbor will need me. I have created a screen of activity. On a normal night, your trip with Bevel would have been easily spotted, but not tonight. It still may not be enough, but there is little else I can do. Perhaps one day we will speak again and gain an understanding of each other. Return when you are ready to leave, and we will speak of the path you must take. So, your father sent you off to Neverwinter. As if everything that's happened tonight isn't enough adventuring for one lifetime. I'm hoping that you'll be back soon enough after you reach the city, but... Most people who leave West Harbor don't come back. It'll be a shame to see you go. We lost a lot of harbormen to the attack. Hopefully your father's right and there will be no more attacks once the shard is gone. Still, the village will need every sword arm it has. As a member of the militia, my sworn duty is to defend West Harbor. I can't just turn my back on that. 
not really. There's an inn north of here along the road. It's the only one between here and the edge of the mare, from what I understand. Plenty of lizard folk in the swamp, of course. Just stick to the roads and you'll be fine, though. At least, that's what I've heard. I've got some bandages here, though I hope you won't need to use them. You can also have my share of the loot that we found. You'll need it more than I do. Well, here. You can have what I've got left from my militia pay. Things are probably more expensive out there. Wish I could go with you, but the defense of the village is important too. <laughs> I'll do my best to keep the place standing for you when you return. I want to hear about all of your adventures. Good luck. And if you run across the one who killed Amy, stick a blade through his heart for me. She deserves at least that. This incursion is the most noteworthy event that's happened here in years. I had high hopes for Amy. She was a rare find in West Harbor. A shame she failed to heed her first lesson. Always listen to Tarmas. Not that I expect you would understand, but she was the only one capable of holding a coherent conversation with me. Go if you must, but mysteries remain here that need to be answered. An inconvenience? Bah! I wouldn't expect one of your small intellect to understand. Suffice to say that her loss pains me beyond mere inconvenience. The swamp has many denizens, most dangerous and all of them particularly irksome. But these new pests are not native. So it stands to reason they traveled through leagues of swamp trails and this odious smell to get here. Anyone that desperate has to have a good reason, so whatever you're carrying, guard it carefully. Anyone fool enough to go through that much effort to come here won't give up easily. I've already lost Amy to their determination. Dagon didn't tell me a thing, boy. But right after the attack, you dart off into the swamp, and now you're suddenly leaving. That speaks volumes. It's obvious you fetched something out there. And I'd bet gold that whatever those bladelings were searching for is in your pack at this very moment. But I don't want to know the details. Not to be overly dramatic, but I believe such knowledge could prove... dangerous. Suffice it to say that I find the bustle of city life even less endearing than the mosquitoes here. And here I can work quietly in exchange for teaching some mud farmer's child a bit of lore every now and again. There's more to it than farming and pig contests. Of that you can be certain. Come back later, then we can talk. That man says decidedly too much. It's true that part of the reason I came to West Harbor is because of the war that was fought here. You've probably heard it mentioned from time to time, and no doubt you've also heard the same vague accounts I have, assuming you could pry even that from the other villagers. The whole affair is quite mysterious, I'm afraid. Demons were involved, that much is certain. But, curiously enough, there are no clear answers to who fought whom and why. I think part of it is the remoteness of the location, yes? There were few battles in the war, and all of them were fought in the Mare of Dead Men. An evil wizard was behind the whole thing. There were very few Neverwinter troops that actually saw any action, and none of them survived. And what would they say? I'm guessing that the Harbormen are as much in the dark in this as the Neverwinter Archivists are. The battle that was fought here didn't involve heralds and flowery declarations. It involved the wholesale slaughter of two forces, with your village in the middle. The entire village was nearly destroyed, and almost no one who stayed in West Harbor survived the night. You really are a harbor man. People here possess the sort of subtlety commonly found in raging barbarian hordes. Ask something else. I have nothing more to say on this matter. Of course. In fact, I would prefer it. Help with the journey, you say? Advice. Advice is what I can give. Use that skull of yours for more than a shield. Amy obviously failed to learn this lesson. A fool girl. As functional as the famous harbourman thick-headedness is, it still won't prove much help against, let's say, a lizardling sword or javelin. 
You aren't mistaken on that account. Fine, take this. Perhaps it will help you. Perhaps not, but don't bother asking for more. I've already lost an apprentice on your behalf. That's all you'll be getting from me. Oh, very well. I suppose I could always use more coin. So, Dagon is sending you to Neverwinter, eh? I can't say I approve. If it were a militia matter, I wouldn't send you alone. But I don't have any right to tell him how to raise his child. Can you at least tell me why you're going? Your father wouldn't tell me a thing. You know what they were looking for? They tore apart half the houses in town. What is it? Obviously, those beasts didn't come all that way for a chunk of silver. There must be more to it than that. That does sound important. More important than staying here. It won't be easy reaching Neverwinter. I've traveled that way once or twice. It's a dangerous journey, especially for one traveling alone. You might want to ask around the village. If you're going to leave, some folks might be able to offer some help. The road is as wild as a road can get and still be called a road. And that was before the patrols stopped coming. There's only the one road in the mare, and that leads to us. There's a small inn on the way. Makes most of his trade off adventurers and the like. Galen, you remember him? The merchant? Well, he says the road is even worse than before. Lizardlings and other creatures have been sighted, and in large numbers. He's about the only merchant that comes our way. Does it once or twice a year. And thank Joaquin he does. We don't have a blacksmith, so he sells us what we can't make ourselves. With the way he loves to stop and chat, I wouldn't be surprised if you caught up with him. Your guess is as good as mine. All I can say is I wish they'd start up again. Might have prevented the attack on us, or at least given us some warning. Lizardlings you already know. Although, the ones around here are the weakest of their lot. So if you see others, expect a tough fight. Oh, the swamp beetles and other critters have been more active too. Adar said he saw a whole nest of them not two moons back, scuttling around the mare. And lastly, stick to the road. I hear there are spiders walking dead and worse off the road. Oh, 
Of course. Like what? You may not have trained under me, but I've always enjoyed your company. And you acquitted yourself well with the village defense. Here, take this shield. It's always served me well. And even if you don't use it, you can sell it for some gold that might do you some good. So, you want to hear a story? <laughs> Look out for the Swamp Elf. You see, an elf never stops growing. And usually, they head to Evermeet before they get much bigger than human-sized. But one of the eldest lives in our own swamp. Huge he is, tall as a tree. It's the truth, I say. This giant elf has been known to hurl rocks great distances, and it has the evil eye. If it ever locks eyes on you, it turns you into a stone. Not stone, but a stone. Just look around the swamp, and you'll see hundreds of its victims. And just by looking at them, you can't tell if it's just an ordinary rock, or whether it used to be a man. If you listen quietly, late at night, you can even hear them. Just don't look him in the eyes. You said your farewells? Take anything you need from our home. Speak with the wizard Tomas as well. He may have a few odds and ends that he'd be willing to part with. To get to Neverwinter, take the road that borders the Starling Farm out of town. It is the only road through the Mayor of Deadman. So following it will be easy. The road itself has not been patrolled for some time, and few travel it. Move quickly, and you may be able to avoid the many beasts of the mare. I suspect you will see your share of battle before you reach Neverwinter. Stray from the road, and the danger is even greater. I've made it known that you travel directly for the city, in the hopes that the enemy will pursue you along the high road. Instead, you will head to the small port town of Highcliff once you are clear of the swamp. From there, you will seek passage on a ship to Neverwinter. There is a ship named the Double Eagle that will await you in Highcliff. Her captain, Flynn by name, is a trusted friend of mine and will ferry you safely to the city. Your trip to Neverwinter will be quicker by water, and my attempt at misdirection may allow you to reach Highcliff before the enemy becomes aware of your true route. I have nothing more to say. It's time for you to go, my son. Each moment you remain here brings greater risk to the village. 